So the Per Temps Classic Handicap Chase. Next then, still at Warwick, and we'll take a look at the full list. Three miles, five furlongs this time. Top one is Master Welshman, Graham Clutterbuck, Blackened, Jared Tut, New Maris, D. Thompson, Glenside, Jerry, Ghost Zapper, Ramses, Kevin Meenahan, Ghost Ruler, Leon Van Rensburg, Chasing Aces, Joshua Sutherland, Crazy Parachute, Martin Leadham, Lake Surfer, David Robertson, Stoke Lacey, Jay Follis, Moneywinkle, Darren Howes, Ben Back, D. French, Comanche, Stu Gray. This will moon you, Molly at Surfer, DuPont, Paul Rhodes, and Carmond is Martin Cairns. So, 16 of them then. A magic number for a handicap, of course, 16. They're paid on fourth. And they're called in, <clears throat> right in the shadow of the post. And away they go then. And Crazy Parachute in the orange being driven up to take his customary position at the head of affairs. With Carmond and Glenside Jerry in the similar colours following in second and third. This Will Moon you is on the outside in fourth. And they sort themselves out, see where they want to be. Long, long way to go. And Crazy Parachute has got an undisputed lead, which is something of a luxury in these long distance races. There's normally two or three that want to take them along, and that usually means the pace is pretty hot. But today, it looks like it's Crazy Parachute on his own, and subsequently the pace isn't all that great. So Crazy Parachute then has got an undisputed lead of five lengths. So this will moon you in second. Master Welshman and Carmen are next, and then Stoke Lacey and Glenside Jerry. They finally get to the first. Over that one they go. And we'll jump that one nicely in there. Race away then. Into the back straight and Crazy Parachute has got the lead with Carmond. Some six lengths back in second. This will moon use on that one's outside. And then there's a, a small gap to Glenside Jerry and Blackened with Lake Surfer and Master Welshman and Ramses tucked in nicely. Stoke Lazy in the blue. Closest to us, Comanche's got the rail in the sort of grey colours and grey white colours on the inside. Just behind that one is Chasing Aces, and then there's three in a line there. That's Money Winkle, Ben Back, and Ghost Ruler with Dupont just the back marker as they take the second of the 20 fences that they've got to negotiate in this race. And Crazy Parachute takes them along into number three, which is a ditch. And we've lost one there. Chasing Aces is gone. So Chasing Aces is a faller. At fence number three, which is a pretty formidable ditch, so he's not managed to negotiate that one particularly well today. Chasing aces, and he's departed the race early on. So Crazy Parachute then into number four. That's a plain one, and they're all over that one okay, with Carmond in second and Glenside Jerry in third. Then comes This Will Moon You and Blackened and Lake Surfer and Master Welshman, New Barris and Comanche, and then Ramses and Moneywinkle as they take number five. And... The back marker is just DuPont, who didn't jump that one all that well, put his nose down on the deck, and the uh, jockey just giving it a bit of a wake-up call, screwing it along a little bit to join the rest of the field as they take number six, and a mistake in second place there, and a faller as well, so the horse in second, Carmon made the mistake, and Moneywinkle was the one that fell, so two out then, and Carmond very lucky not to have been the third, but Crazy Parachute is in the lead by a good six lengths to Carmen and this will moon you then blackened and Glenside Jerry Lake Surfer and Master Welshman and New Barris and Comanche Ramses is after that one and Ghost Ruler and Stoke Lacey bend back and finally DuPont as they take the next and they're all safely over that one with Crazy Parachutes lead down to about three now Carmen recalled from that mistake in second as they come to number eight and they're all over that one okay Crazy Parachute still in front. I think there are quite as many long distance chases this week as normal. And over that one we go. And they're also over yeah, that one as well. And a lot of these are normally running over four miles. So it'll be interesting to see what happens towards the end of the race. And Crazy Parachute comes to the next in the lead. We're well up the home straight now. And Crazy Parachute leads them past the post. See, the running is not a particularly long one here, and Crazy Parachute is in the lead. From this will moon you second, Carmond is third, Glenside Jerry is fourth, then Lakeside Surfer, and Comanche, then Black and Master Welshman, New Maris, and Ghost Roar, then Ramses, Stoke Lacey, Dupont, and finally Bend Back, who's about three lengths adrift of the rest of the field. So they're on their final circuit now then, and Crazy Parachute has not had any company at all so far in this race. And he's in the lead, 
Uh, this will move you a second. Then comes Glenside Jerry and Carmond together. Right, they're similar colours. Just behind them is Lake Surfer and Comanche and Master Wash. But it looks like Stoke Lacey's been pulled up. That was one of the uh, one of the fancied ones. And Stoke Lacey's been pulled up. So over number 11 they go. And Crazy Parachute is the leader. Glenside Jerry and Carmen. Then this will moon you and Comanche and Lake Surfer and Blackened. And the debate will rage on about these pull ups. We've only had two races so far today, and there's already been three, possibly even four rather suspect pull ups. So Crazy Parachute's in front then from Carmond who's in second. Carmond is the lighter of the two horses in those similar colours. Glenside Jerry, the darker looking horse. On the inside of that one there is Comanche, who's also in very similar colours, but has got a white cap. Behind that one in fourth place is This Will Moon You, as they come down to number 12. And they're all over that one okay as well. With Crazy Parachute's lead down to the shortest distance it's been since the offset and it's about two lengths now then as it comes to number 13 and over that one oh, there's another one gone there that's master welshman a crushing fall there master welshman catapulted the jockey into the fence and that's four out now then and crazy parachute just up in the ante a little bit in front from carmond in second then ram sees who's moved up well into third dupont is after that one as they take number 14 and we see them racing away from us it's a very stiff back straight at Warwick and it's Crazy Parachute who's in the lead from Carmond in second. Then Ram Season Dupont and then Lake Surfer as they take number 15. A good jump on the outside there by Lake Surfer. Seeing that one jump right through into the lead. So Lake Surfer now takes it up from the long time leader Crazy Parachute on the inside second. Just five furlongs to race now then. And they come down to this 16th fence and over that one they go. And they're all safely over that one and Lake Surfer's in the lead. There's four to jump and Lake Surfer's in the lead on the outside of Crazy Parachute. Then there's a gap of about three lengths to Comanche and Ramses and then Carmond and DuPont, Blackened and Glenside, Jerry, New Barris is creeping closer, then comes Ghost Ruler and Bend Back and this will moon you probably look out of it, but it's Lake Surfer and Crazy Parachute who are making their way now towards the final three furlongs and the fourth last, up to it they come and Crazy Parachute on the inside, Lake Surfer on the outside, they're clear of Glenside, Jerry back in third, then Ramses and Blackened are after that, New Barris trying to run on, Carmond is dropping away but it Looks like it's between the front two at the moment. Lake Surfer comes to the third last. Pops it nicely. Crazy Parachute jumped in okay, but not as quickly. Back in third is Black and then Ramses, but it's Lake Surfer racing down towards the second last fence now with a good lead of about three lengths. Pops over it nicely. Slower jump again by Crazy Parachute, who's now being caught by Blackened for second place. But Lake Surfer comes down to the last. Looks like he's only got to jump it. Lake Surfer's well clear. Six lengths clear as he comes to the last. Pops over it nicely. Tired, tired Crazy Parachute in second, now being challenged by Blackened, but this is Lake Surfer all the way towards the line. Blackened is chasing hard, so too is Glenside Jerry, but Lake Surfer's going to take it. Lake Surfer, the one of Glenside Jerry second, Blackened third, Crazy Parachute hold on to fourth from Ghost Ruler and New Barris, and I think Carmen might have been the last one to finish, but it's Lake Surfer for David Robertson that takes it from Glenside Jerry second, Blackened third, Crazy Parachute was fourth, and New Barris was fifth.